we back in. We back in. Three, two, one. Hey guys, this is Laurie. And this is Bryony. And today we're going to get back to one of your questions, which was, what are the best exercises for shoulders, quads, glutes, core, back, anything? You name it. Mm -hmm. And our answer to that, what's the best exercise for X amount of body part being? There isn't one. And why isn't there one? Because it depends. It depends. Yeah. Everyone hates me, they're like, Friday, just give an answer. That's the truth, but there is no kind of one best exercise. So even though we might say, oh, this is our top exercise for da 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 da, doesn't mean that it's your only exercise that you'll ever do um, suited to you or that you've seen on Instagram and it's an influencer mm -hmm. and you're like, great, let's do this one. This is the best exercise after yeah. all, we've got to get jacked. Because let got me tell peach. you, most of the time what girls share on Instagram being the best exercise like to build your glutes and stuff like that they always share the one that looks good and their booty pops but often the most efficient exercise are the ones that are the ugliest to perform the ugliest yes. have you seen our faces on a hack squat <laughs> on a pendulum squat they're not the most flattering but they're like hip thrusts are not the most flattering either like exactly don't just relate on what you can see on, on socials. No, 100% not. And it, yeah, it does generally depend on your your own physique and your body makeup. And that's why it's so individualized. And that's mm. why coaching is so individualized because it takes time to understand what works for you. Because what works for me may not work for you, may not work for Laurie. Laurie mm -hmm. may be like, this is the best sex. I really feel my glutes in this. I try it and I'm like, I don't feel anything. So it's like, trying to figure out actually what works for you. Mm -hmm. Do you have that mind-muscle connection or can you not feel a thing? Do you maybe need to change the angle slightly, depending on what that is on a certain exercise? It's all just dependent on the individual. 100%, so it depends on your life history. Let's say maybe, I don't know, you have an injury, there's something preventing you from performing a certain exercise, obviously you can't do it. And there's also your schedule. Like, let's say you can only train three times a week, but maybe you might prioritize some compound movements just mm. because they do target more muscle groups, meaning that you're more efficient. If you only can train three days per week, you're not gonna go in the gym and be like, oh, today I'm gonna train biceps. Because there's still so many other yeah. parts of your body that you need to train. So in that case, I would recommend you doing some compounds, some exercises that does touch the biceps, yes, to a certain extent, but also bigger groups. For example, if you're talking about like, building your biceps, let's talk about like biceps. So you could be like bicep curl, or you could be like, I'm gonna do a row, which indirectly works your biceps anyway, mm -hmm. but you're also working your back, your rear delts, yeah. multiple muscle groups. You can definitely select those bang for your buck type exercises. There are always those trends as well, right? There are trends, so it's like squats grow your glutes, everyone must do squats. Mm. Again, you might be injured, or you may not actually have a great technique for squats for like a back squat and you actually can't load your spine in that way so maybe the squats aren't the best exercise for you mm -hmm. and perhaps you can do something else that will so you might do a leg press yeah. or actually you just change up the variation you do mm -hmm. a goblet squat like it's exercise and yeah. individual dependent exactly and there's also something else to take in consideration is that the world keep evolving there's always someone who's going to come up with a new exercise the next best thing exercise even for us when we started weightlifting, as Bernie said, we were going mostly into squats. Right now, there's new machines coming up, like pendulum and stuff like that. So, fitness, it's not set and it's gonna evolve. The basics work, like the movement pattern basics work. Yeah. So there's no need to be all fancy. If you ever don't know what to train, just go straight to the point. Straight in. And if you don't feel confident, don't even try and go into a squat, just jump into a leg press. It's safer, yeah, of course. Yeah. it targets the same muscle groups. Yeah. Nail the basics, good technique, good form, see what works for you. My muscle connection. Overload. Done. You. I love you. I don't know. Hey guys, it's me. Comfy bro. Comfy bro, that was you now. <laughs>